Hi, I'm Nick Nansen and welcome to America's Premier Experts, the one and only place where we bring the top experts from all around the world direct to you. And today I've got just one of those experts, Mr. Luis Vicente Garcia. Luis, welcome. Hi, Nick. How are you? Great. It's great to have you on the show. So obviously we've been hanging out. I've learned a lot about you. You're a pretty amazing guy. But our viewers don't know about that. All the way from Venezuela, tell us a little bit about what you're doing. Yes, actually I'm from Venezuela. Um, I'm an economist, although I went into the financial world. Uh, I worked for uh, 35 years, more or less, in the corporate financial area, and uh, in a brief period of time, I worked in franchising. But all the time, you know, I like to uh, start working with people. Uh, I usually, when in the companies I work for, I try to help people to grow, to develop, to learn, to study. So that's what I've been doing for many years until I realized, well, what I want to be is become a coach. And uh, over the past years, I've uh, read and studied and went to courses and uh, seminars and uh, finally I developed uh, uh, a need to start helping people. So uh, the past year or so I've been uh, working out uh, to understand how this business is uh, turning uh, to be at this moment because uh, one of the interesting things that we are living in a crisis. doesn't matter if we're here in the States, down in Venezuela, whatever other country in the world. Everybody is living through a crisis. So you have to adapt to that. You have to change into that. And as a coach, I'm now helping people to change themselves, to change their businesses, and actually to try to perform better. So I just became a, a certified focal point business coach. And uh, well, and that's where I'm going now. That's great. Uh, obviously, the, the focal point organization and, and Brian Tracy are just great people that we are very good friends with. Uh, tell me this. Um, you know, I love how you said you actually developed an, a need to help people. You, there's such a strong feeling you had a need to help people. Tell me about where that came from. What, how did that get started? Well, um, I go back to my first job. You know, the first time you're hired, you just walk into a company and you don't know what's going to happen. I ended up working there for eight years. But you're not, you don't know if you're going there to be there for one month, two years, eight years, or the whole life. But uh, I relate to that because I still have friends from 25 plus years ago. So I started to relate in people right at my first job. And then I moved into other areas. I, I worked for my first uh, 12 years in the manufacturing industry. And then I went to the service industry. And there's a very big uh, interesting change that happened there. If you're in manufacturing, you work with problems, you have issues, you have to solve them. When you go into the service industry, now you have areas of opportunities. So you have to develop that. And for me, when I realized that an area of opportunity is how to learn to help others, to teach others, and to guide the others. And uh, I'm, I'm actually a firm believer of uh, continuing education. I, I believe that once you get out of college, that's where your learn, really learning experience begins. Um, I've been fortunate enough to have taken many courses and seminars, and uh, I've actually I'm in the I'm finishing up my fourth uh, postgraduate degree uh, in strategic thinking, and um, it, it 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 all complies together. It comes together when you actually sit down now with a client and understand, even though you don't know their business, you don't know their industry, but you understand their needs. You understand that they need time, they need a better team, they need the money to do the investments or, 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 or any other issues they, they have. So uh, I started, uh, I, I think it was like a personal side where I needed to uh, help my team. Uh, how do I help a team? Uh, I need to understand the team, I need to build uh, a teamwork framework so that I can, they can work around. And uh, so I started to talking about colleagues and partners and uh, people uh, below me or above me in Venezuela or in different countries where I work for a multinational company. And, um, you know, it's, a, it's just about relationships. It's about networking. And probably I don't have all the, all the answers, but if I, I need something uh, related to what you do, I'm going to ask you because I know you now. And then you start looking for people. And at the end, you are able, if you want, to help your company, your teams, uh, the people that work with you, your family, your relationships, or your community. So uh, I, I, when I said there, there was a need for me because um, I enjoy doing that. I enjoy working with people, helping people, and actually trying to get them to do what they are able to do and to perform better. And I think that's one of the reasons uh, part of us, uh, we, we are here. That's great. Well, you know, look, obviously you're a very bright guy. I mean, finishing up your fourth postgraduate degree, I mean, that's, that's <laughs> 
Amazing. Uh, congratulations, by the Thank way. Thank you. On that. And so, you know, obviously you can help people and you have a lot of different ways you can help people, but let's break it down for a second, The uh, kind of into your process or the way you do things so that people watching can say, you know, how, how I'm trying to think how he might help me. So let's talk about your process a little bit. Okay. Um, I sit down with you and I try to understand where you are. doesn't matter what kind of company, what size of company. Um, I actually work with uh, medium-sized business owners or the people who can actually take the decision. So you and I sit down, and people basically have four needs that they will take over their professional life. Need for money, we all do. Need for teamwork, you need people that work with you to help you grow, to grow any business. You have time, everybody has time issues. We all say time flies. But in our professional life, you want to do more than what you want to do, and you're working more hours than what you should be working, so you have less time, time for your family, so you need a balanced life. And then some of us at a certain point in time will need to uh, think about our exit strategy. Uh, exit doesn't mean I'm going to retire. Exit means I'm going to shift from one industry to the other. I'm going to resign my current job and become a coach. I'm going to um, start doing um, training for somebody else. I mean, uh, the exit strategy is actually changing what you're actually doing and having a better way to do that in a better way. So uh, when I sit down with a client, I start understanding their needs. And there are many ways uh, a coach can help a person. Actually, I have two coaches. Uh, one is my coach's coach in Focal Point, and another one is a personal coach in the uh, Public Speaking Academy. Uh, because we do not know everything, so we need help. And it's very difficult to realize and understand that you need help. Because I, I come to you and say, Nick, hi, I'm a coach, uh, and I think uh, you and I can have a conversation. And then you say, I don't need a coach. So that's, that will be your first reaction. When we sit down, I can show you how you can improve the performance of your company. We break down the cost. I talk to your team. I see how separated they are or how together they can become. And do, we do training. So towards a period of time, you can actually feel that uh, coaching actually gives you um, success that it can point you towards where you want to go. And uh, at the end, uh, we are all here to make you a better person, to raise your company standards to a higher level. And uh, our bar is not a steady one. Our bar should be raising every time. Every time you learn, every time you do something, every time you have an experience, you have to look at the positive side of, of that. So uh, in all, this is what, what I, I try to do with the people I'm starting to work with. It's great. And obviously, you've worked with a lot of people, but do you have maybe one favorite story you can share with us on how you've helped someone? Um, yeah, there are a couple of stories, but uh, one particular is that um, I'm working with a group. They are the owners of a hamburger uh, company, and actually now they own five different stores. Uh, it's a fast, casual place. And when we started talking, um, the first question is, what do you sell? And the straight answer was, we sell hamburgers. Of course, they just sell hamburgers, but what else? So I started digging down, and at the end, you know, it was a very beautiful conversation because at the end they tell me, we sell an experience. And it doesn't matter if you're going to a movie, to a dinner, a rest to have dinner in a restaurant or to another country, it's about your experience. It's about what you perceive. So with them, we realize it's not only the quality of the hamburger, of the hamburger it's the area, it's the space, it's the restaurant itself, it's the quality of the service, it's the quality of the food, it's the music they are playing, it's how long they waited before they were attended at the table. So it's the overall experience. And it happens in your business, in my business, and everybody, if you go to a country, you want to enjoy the country. If you go, if you go to a movie, you want to enjoy the movie. You, you want the air conditioner or whatever, working fine. Uh, so at the end, you know, uh, we are all uh, in that place where uh, if we rea realize that the most important things are our experiences and what we do get out of them, uh, we can perform better and improve all the time. Great story. I'm sure there's a lot of people watching this that say, I like that story. I want to be just like that story. I need help. Luis can help me. How can they find you, Luis? Well, uh, two easy ways. One is my website, which is my name, luisvicentegarcia.com. And um, my email is lgarcia at focalpointcoaching.com. So it's very easy. Very good. We'll make sure that gets up on the bottom of the screen so people can find you. And hey, thank you so much for sharing your knowledge. Thank you for helping the people you do. And thanks right. for coming on the show. Thank you very much, Nick. Thanks for having me here. My pleasure.